What if one compact device could transform your entire listening experience? Meet the Fozzy Audio MC331, a hybrid tube amp that combines vintage warmth with modern versatility. Today, I'll show you exactly why this little powerhouse deserves your attention. Let's start with what's under the hood. The MC331 uses the Texas Instruments TPA3221 Class D amplifier chip, a smaller sibling to the well-known TPA3255. Now, the TPA3221 offers less power, but it's no slouch when it comes to sound quality. And let's be honest, the TPA3255 provides buckets and buckets of power, so much that it's often unnecessary for many applications. Not that there's anything wrong with having that kind of headroom. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Not at all. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But for a compact design like the MC331, the choice of the TPA3221 is smart. One of the advantages of the TPA3221 is its efficiency, which helps keep the MC331 running cool, a hallmark of Class D amps. While the TPA3255 has been known to run hot in some applications, the TPA3221 avoids this issue, making it an ideal choice for this setup. That said, we do need to mention the tubes. Like all tubes, they'll add some natural heat of their own, which is just part of their charm. Texas Instruments really deserves praise here. Their amplifier chips are a testament to their innovation and success in this field that drive the incredible products we're seeing today. They're a huge reason Class D amplification is becoming so competitive with legacy Class AB designs, but at a much lower price. As for the tubes you see here, you'll find those exclusively in the preamp section, smoothing out any digital harshness that might exist in delivering a sound that's both detailed and inviting. But I didn't stop at the stock tubes. I decided to experiment with tube rolling, swapping out the stock JAN5654W tubes for a pair of Voskhod 6ZH1PEV tubes. These are known for their clarity and slightly extended treble response. The result was subtle but noticeable, a wider soundstage and a touch more sparkle in the highs. It's a fun upgrade that lets you tailor the sound to your taste, and I encourage anyone with this amp to give it a try. This design makes tube rolling so accessible, and I love that. It invites you to play, to discover the nuances between tubes. It's much like rolling op amps in other devices, something I've encouraged on this channel before. It's not just about tweaking the gear, it's about critical listening, because it's in those moments of focused, intentional listening that the joy of music truly comes alive. And in the end, isn't it all about the music? So how does it sound? In a word, terrific. The highs are crisp and detailed without being fatiguing, the mids are lush and full, and the bass is tight and punchy. For genres like jazz, classical, and acoustic, it's an absolute delight. If I were to nitpick, I'd say the bass, while tight, might lack some visceral impact some listeners crave. But that's a small trade-off for the otherwise well-balanced and engaging sound. Let's dive into some of the testing I did. I wanted to check two things, USB UAC2 compliance and whether the preamp output is variable. Now, as odd as it seems to test if a preamp output is in fact variable, this isn't so strange after seeing a disappointing number of these small class D amps come with what looks like a preamp output, only to discover that it's merely a full volume signal pass through which is perfect for daisy chaining amps, but terrible if you want to connect to a subwoofer or an external amp. To test both, I set up my computer connected to the MC331 via USB and routed the preamp output to my stereo's analog input. Here's the good news. Both passed with flying colors. I used them simultaneously and found they worked perfectly together without any issues. That said, I did run into a small hiccup at the start. My Windows 10 PC couldn't detect the MC331 at all. It turns out the USB cable I initially used, while perfectly fine for other devices, just didn't work with this one. Swapping in a new cable solved this entirely. So if you're experiencing any connection problems, check your cable first. Now let's talk about the design. The MC331 is a beautifully built piece of equipment. The fit and finish are top-notch, with a clean and minimalistic aesthetic. 
The retro style VU meter adds a touch of nostalgia and the compact form factor makes it perfect for small to medium sized spaces. The exposed tubes protected by glass shields strike a balance between showcasing their beauty and ensuring safety. One of the things I love about the MC331 is it's a true all-in-one solution. It has a built-in DAC, preamp, headphone amp, along with multiple input options, Bluetooth, USB, optical, coaxial, and yes, even RCA. Whether you're streaming music, connecting a turntable, or using it as a desktop amp, this thing's got you covered. It's rare to find this level of versatility in such a compact and affordable package. And speaking of affordability, the MC331 offers outrageous value. At its price point, it's hard to think of another product that delivers this combination of features, performance, and build quality. It's perfect for anyone looking to explore the world of tube amps or for the seasoned audiophile who wants a versatile addition to their setup. Before I wrap up, I want to share an idea inspired by designs like the MC331. What if Fozzie Audio took a concept like this and scaled it up into a full-size integrated amplifier? I proposed this to them as the ZI3, I for integrated. Imagine a 17-inch wide chassis based on the ZD3 and ZA3 designs, but with tubes elegantly displayed behind glass like those iconic Luxman amps from the 1990 or advanced Paris from today. And how about powering it with the B3 mono amps inside? It could be a game changer, taking on the big names and full-size hi-fi market. But for now, the MC331 stands as a testament to what Fozzy Audio can achieve. A compact, well-thought-out, all-in-one box that delivers warm, engaging sound and incredible value. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.